Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks, Mongo. Oh, thank you, buddy. What are you doing? I'm letting Mongo love me. <laughs> I love Mongo. Oh, buddy. Oh, you're so little. High five, Bird. High five. Hey, how about the lipoma? Three. Got a graduate. Another graduate, guys. dog uh, named Sarge. He actually came in through emergency and was evaluated by Dr. Taka initially. We found that he had pain when we lifted his tail um, and that can be a sign of lumbosacral instability, especially in German Shepherd dogs. <clears throat> and so we ended up doing an MRI on him later that day. We did find that he has a narrowing of the lumbosacral region called lumbosacral stenosis. In his case, as with a lot of German Shepherds, it's a dynamic problem, meaning that if they're not moving around too much, there's not a lot of pain, but the more they move and do things that cause their tail to be lifted, that causes this joint here in the lumbosacral region to be extended, so whenever he extends his hips, this joint flexes up, and that's gonna put pressure down in this lumbosacral area and cause pain. And so we treated Sarge pretty well with pain medications and anti-inflammatories, but ultimately since he's a three-year-old working dog, we wanted to do something for him that would stabilize the joint and allow him to return to full working condition for as long as possible. So a few weeks ago, uh, we were also introduced to a new system um, developed by Orthomed in conjunction with a veterinary neurologist and the, the idea was to adapt the system for veterinary patients um, and they adapted this system um, with screws to help stabilize the spine. This is something that they've used for a long time in human medicine um, but we're just now starting to see the applications of this system for our veterinary patients. So in Sarge's case, he was a great candidate. We were able to use this screw uh, and bar system to put uh, implants in both his sacrum and his L7, which is his last lumbar vertebrae, and connect them by bars to hold that joint in place. In addition, we put some bone graft between the, uh, what we call the facet joints, the joining of the two bones so that hopefully over time, his natural uh, healing process of his body will fuse that joint with kind of really hard uh, bone so that that adds additional stability um, for this area. So with these things, it's gonna be about a recovery of six to eight weeks. Um, he's gonna be out of work for that time. And 
The idea is that once he's fully healed, he can continue full working capacity for as long as possible. So with the system, we do have to make a lot of measurements. Um, we want to know how deeply we need to put the screw into the bone. We need to know the width of the disc space between L7 and S1 in case we need to put a disc implant in. Um, we need to know how far apart these bones are naturally and what kind of span we want. So a lot of forethought goes into planning for this type of surgery. Um, because it's the first time I personally use this system, um, Dr. Bergman flew up to help me. He's one who has helped to pioneer this system and he came and joined us in surgery yesterday. Uh, so it was a joint, um, joint effort to get Sarge back working again. So today we actually saw him, he's one day post-op, and he's walking quite well, seems really comfortable. So that's a really good sign that the surgery went well so far, and that he's got a really great chance of uh, improving over time.